Hey, today on Create Sci-Fi, we're living sci-fi. I'm going to take a look at the potential of AI-assisted filmmaking. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Anthony Ferro here at Create Sci-Fi. Well, the future is here. <laughs> Today, I'm, I'm going to explore um, AI-assisted filmmaking. And again, I don't know, this is all new. That's what I'm calling it at the moment. We'll figure this out, right? And it's very exciting and I'm very interested to sort of dig in. If you watch my videos, this is one of my favorite types of videos to make, right? So this is not a how-to. This is not me saying, okay, so you wanna write with AI, you wanna do AI art. This is, how, this is me figuring it out and sharing the experience, the journey with you. So what I wanna do in this series, not sure how many videos it's gonna be, but I wanna do a initial video of writing with AI assistance, chat, GPT, and then we're gonna take that script. I'm going to go to Midjourney, AI art generating platform, and come up with the costumes and the props. Then I'll do a couple of videos of me making the costumes and props to see how I navigate using that source material. Then maybe a behind the scenes video of like actually shooting whatever film it is we have. And then it'll culminate in the film, right? And what I'm excited about uh, is I can tell the, the parameters to the program, right? So it's like to make this realistic, I know it has to be like a five to 10 minute film. I should be able to shoot it in one day, ideally daylight exterior. And I could do that on a budget and maybe make something nice, right? probably just two actors. So I can put all those parameters in there and then see what we come up with. And then also the same thing with the props and costumes. I can be thinking about my budget. So, you know, I'm not going to say like, a, a, you know, <laughs> a head to toe space suit, right? I'm going to say like dirty, filthy clothes with some sort of tech gadget or something. We'll, we'll see, we'll see how it unfolds, but I'm excited. But this is not going away, and I believe with AI, it's going to evolve to a place where there's going to be people that are better at using the tools than other, and then that's the content, that's the art, that's the, you know, sort of the films that we'll gravitate to. I have videos on my channel about free writing, right? So that would have been the old days before AI. So it's kind of similar to that. It's just some crazy first draft, but the, the goal is to get to the end of it. And a lot of people get stalled out writing films because they never make it to the end. They have the idea, they start it, they get overwhelmed and they never finish it. And then, you know, I finished a lot of scripts and I can tell you, you shouldn't get bogged down in that because once you finish, you're gonna to have to rewrite it 20 times anyway, right? So this is a great way to just get the ball rolling. So we're just gonna dive in. I'm gonna let it rip, see what it does. We're gonna work within it. And then I won't, whatever story I end up doing, I won't give away the whole thing. So it is, it'll be a little fun to watch the film at the end, but I just wanna take you through the process, right? So come on, let's, let's just get into this. All right, so we're in chat GPT. Right. So it's pretty straightforward. You know, you just you just get started. Right. So there's a chat box at the bottom here. And what I've learned um, by looking at other people's videos and reading is that it's all about the prompts. Right. So I've gathered from different resources um, some good prompts to get going on uh, screenwriting. Right. So this will all make sense in a, in a minute. So we're gonna get the, the conversation started and we're gonna ask it for a type of film and ask it to write a log line, right? Then we're gonna come up with some character names. Then this is sort of the special sauce and I got this, oh geez, I, I'm gonna link to the fellow's video who gave this because this was great information and I wanna give him credit. So the Dan Harmon story circle, I feel really good about this because I can link you here to one of my videos where I use this, right? So it's sort of making sense to me. And then you get the detailed treatment and then the shot list. And then this one I came up with, we wanna come up with descriptions of the characters, right? This will all make sense. So like I said, I'm in Southern California. So for me, 
just outdoor desert makes sense. So we're gonna start there. One thing that I found out so far, this just works really good when you're just conversational with it, right? So it's like, hello, we're gonna be screenwriting partners. Okay, so I wanna do a post-apocalyptic suspense film. Um, and I wanted to write an original log line. And let's do two characters, one man, one woman right pretty basic and let's see what it comes up with okay sure so after a catastrophic event leaves earth unstable a lone woman roams the scorched desert wasteland search of life soon encounters a rugged drifter pr promises to help her find a safe haven okay good 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 valuable supplies they begin to suspect that their alliance may be built on dangerous secrets, leading them to question whether the survival is worth sacrificing their humanity. This is good. I like this. I gotta tell you, I've been doing this for a while now. Usually I make it rewrite it, but this is a good one. So let's stick with this. If we didn't like this one, you just ask it to regenerate response. Or what I like about this, right, is I can say, instead of, supplies let's say she trades water and the ai is like sure no problem we can do that so now we have our log line we're going to ask it come up with 20 first names male and female first names and wizzo certainly <laughs> max Rick, Eli, Wade, Trevor. Let's use Enola and I like Rick. Rick, Mick, let's Mick. Let's use for the names. Please add to log. Sure. <laughs> Enola, a long woman, right? So now there it is great this is where the magic happens so first we're going to say using the dan Harmon, and what i like about this is it's going to give you your beats you need to make the film and then boom so nola is desperate to find a desolate desolate wasteland she encounters the rugged drifter what do they need she needs help to find a safe haven he needs the water we're, we're doing great they set on their journey to find the safe haven, facing various obstacles and challenges along the way. So we still gotta figure out what those obstacles and challenges are. They search for clues. So this is all good, but we're doing this on a budget, right? So we don't want marauders and we can't build a set of <laughs> the thing. So it's like, oh, okay, but let's make it. They found they find the safe haven, but it's, it's gone and there's nobody there, right? So that saves time. So let's, and then what I'm loving about this is you just simply just say it like I just said it in my pigeon English, right? I don't know, what if it was like this? And, it, and it, it'll understand you, right? So let's go, can we please? I always say please and thank you, you don't have to, but I don't wanna lose that habit in my life. Make the safe haven abandoned there is only scarce traces now why is there scarce traces because that's cheaper <laughs> something bad happened here so let's see what it does with that sure you can modify the circle to kind of here are eight beats of drama Anola, a lone woman, desperate to find the desert. She's Mick, well, offers to help, yep. They search for clues and signs, learning more. They find it, but to discover that it's something bad's happening there. They discover, they uncover the truth about what happened in the abandoned safe helmet. It becomes clear that they are not alone in their search. They must now fight to protect themselves and their resources from dangerous fractions. Cut the dangerous fractions. Instead, they ponder what it could mean to be alone 
Okay, updated concept. Let's see if we get closer. Offers a funny thing. They bind the help. They make the train. Blah 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 blah. All right. So let's see. They search for clues. They find scarce traces, but something bad happened there. They uncover the truth, and it becomes clear that they are truly alone in their search. Okay. They ponder what it means to be the last of people on Earth. They can trust each other. They confront each other's fears and harsh reality of the situation. Now we're more in just keeping it in a drama between two people. The turning point, they reach a turning point they re as they face the possibility of being truly alone forever. So they have to decide, do we stay together or do we part ways and be alone? In their final decision, they must face the consequences of their choice. They are left to grapple with what it means to be alone and the uncertain future that lies ahead, right? This is good, so we got something here. So we're gonna go with that. Another thing that I love about this is when I first started using this, I had a couple that I did that I was happy with and I was like, oh, I should have saved them or whatever, but it keeps all the chats. So, you know, just do a new chat for each idea and then that'll get you there. So now we're saying, write me an extremely detailed treatment for that movie. And it says, sure. I could do that. <laughs> Even gave me a title, Alone in the Dust. It's a good working title. So now you can see now there's a detailed treatment telling me the, you know, gives me ideas for visuals. Now I'm not gonna torture you with reading this, but I think you could see here that this gives you a lot to work with. Now to further sort of get your mind cooking <laughs> we're gonna ask it to write a shot list for this and it's gonna say establishing shot vast desert wasteland we know that close up of her face medium shot they reach the haven this helps you to start to see it what I like about it is lots of times the AI will give me ideas that I never would have thought of and it kind of helps me to sort of step outside my own limitations of like we tend to lean into what we know we're good at, right? Or and, and keep repeating ourselves. And I'm comfortable with that, but you know, it's always good to just kind of like get a fresh idea. So I started asking it to generate the character descriptions, right? So let's do Anola, all right? Young woman, we'll say she's 30s, late 20, late 20s, athletic. And then let's see what it gives us. She has a strong, determined spirit despite the harshness of her surrounding. So yeah, this gives me a lot. I would probably trim this down to 100 words, but what's fun is you could say, great, please condense to 100 words. That's always gonna say, no problem. All right, you get the idea. All right, so Mick. Mick, we'll make him late 30s. Then like, let's make him, you know, I want to play this character, right? So we'll say heavy, long hair, bearded. Let's see if I was this character. I'm grizzled. <laughs> His rough exterior is because I have a kind, compassionate heart. <laughs> His rough exterior is because he has a kind, compassionate heart. <laughs> and he laughs like a jackal. All right, and again, it's like, oh, great. Let's make this 100 words. This is a lot to go on. So from this, you can write your script, but you can see it didn't write the script for me, but you know, this, you know, in less than a half an hour, I have like a fully fleshed out idea that, you know, certain things like in life, you know, when I do this organically, as you get into the process further, further along and you start really committing to making this, things are gonna change. And at a certain point, it just becomes the thing, right? But this is getting you going, right? It's getting the motor running. Another thing that I found you could do is say like, great, thank you. I love being polite to this thing. Again, it'd be easy to not be polite. From the detailed treatment, I forgot I have AI to correct my spelling too. <laughs> Write a detailed outline for a 10 page short film script or having it help us even more. So what I can do now is take this. I want it to be 10 pages. It's about a minute a page. So this detailed outline 
has about 20 points to it. So what I'll say to myself is when I'm writing the script is act one, Enola and Mick arrive at the abandoned safe haven in the middle of desert wasteland. As they explore the ruins, they discover traces of a violent struggle and realize that the safe haven was abandoned in a hurry, right? So that one and two, I'm going to, um, when I go into my screenwriting program, final draft, I'm going to cover those two points and I'm gonna write one page, right? And it, you know, it's not exact, maybe you go a page and a half, go two pages, and then I'd go down the list and I would cover these 20 points, right? But it gives you a place to go and, a, and you know how it ends and all that, that that's really huge, <laughs> right? That's a big deal. Now, if you've never made a film and you just wanna do it on a, on a lark, one thing I figured out is like, so let's say what I just said, right? So you figure a, a, a page, a script page is maybe, I don't know, 200, 300 words probably. So I could tell it, write 200 to 300 words of action and dialogue about, so now we have the action, it's saying, okay, well, Nola does this, Mick does that. So now you're getting action, you're getting dialogue. Now, I, I haven't dialed this in yet because I'm kind of reluctant to do this, but so you'll see here, it just kind of spit it out like a, like a novel. So then you say, please write the person's name in all caps before they speak. All right. So now we have our action. They're looking around that didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. But you could see, it's like the, the name, then it's, so you could see how you could bust this out into a script. The thing that I would stress is, if you went that route, what the AI tends to do is, it's grabbing from all these sources. So a lot of stuff is very cliche, very sort of like, not inspired, just sort of like, uh, okay. But you have it in front of you and then you recognize like, here she says, you know, it's do or die. And you're like, well, that's stupid. But it's like, well, how can I originally, in my voice, convey that sentiment through something she says or does, right? So you're like off to the races. This is also the thing I like about it. It's like, it didn't do what I wanted to do. So you just talk to it, say like, no, I am sorry. Again, you don't have to be polite. I just choose to be not like that. Please write the name of who is speaking before they speak. And I'm gonna try this live, like in a screen play. Look at that, interior bay. All right, so I guess maybe that's it. Like in this, oh goodness. So there it is, now it's doing it. So just out of curiosity, let's say, please. Now, I mean, it's doing it now in dramatic dialogue and cinematic action in a screenplay format. I mean, it already did that, but now I wanted to see how far I can um, push it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So now I'm just like, write it like a screenplay. So yeah, let me just talk to you now while my friend is writing the screenplay. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very excited about this whole process. Um, hopefully, if you were curious, you've seen what it can do, gave you some ideas. If you're already doing it, maybe I shared with you something you don't know. If you are down the rabbit hole like me, please comment where you're at, what you're thinking. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. And I think, you know, this is gonna be fun. It's not going away. Let's lean into it. Let's have fun with it. See um, what doors it can open. Well, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out the merch shop. We've got the hats. This is me practicing what I preach. This is from a, an organization that helps veterans called Reorg. Buying merch always helps these organizations. But remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. 